Good evening guys, Dan here from Global Flight Dam. What I'm going to do today is a very quick review on the SUP Air Everest 3 lightweight harness. Um, I paid about £260 for this, £259 from Flybubble. Um, it's designed for people who are seriously into treading weight on their, on their kit, paragliding, speed flying, mini wing flying, hike and flies. Um, so when you get it guys, it comes in this little little black bag, little drawstring, um, quite quite compact. It is relatively easy to put it in and pull it out of the bag. Okay, um, when I got this, I had quite high expectations. I used to have the Ozone Ozo um, reversible harness and stupidly I decided to get rid of that to invest in something else, which I do regret, I'm not going to lie. But um, anyway, I got the Everest free. So what I've done is I've just took it out of its bag. Obviously you can scrunch it up, just chuck that anywhere, chuck it in your bag until you need it again. Um, so what I've got here is obviously the setup. That's how it looks guys. You've got your two carabiners and you've got bungee shoulders, okay? So your main carabiners uh, as such obviously you've got rubber around here to prevent it sliding you've got the secondary anchor point there here is your bungee shoulders okay they're slightly elasticated there is not a great deal in that movement guys okay when you launch it does dig into the shoulders a little bit okay but as soon as you sit back and you're in the seated flying position it does relax quite a lot and they basically become obsolete okay so what we do have is the two carabiners obviously, okay, we've got the independent areas for the legs, okay, so it's not it's not all one. We have got the waist slash chest piece of string there, okay, coming round to the side, as previously discussed guys, there is the bungee, okay, the rear. There's the two bungees, obviously, which go over your shoulders. This bit of string you can see here basically feeds all the way through the side of the harness, feeds round and goes to the other side. Okay. Now's probably a good time to tell you guys that this only weighs about 320 grams. Okay. There is not a great deal in it. You won't notice it in your kit. Obviously, you've got the ability to attach a speed bar so we've got loop there and there but obviously I've just just tied it tied it at the back underneath there is this it's basically a little velcro you can put your your, sp your speed bar in and seal it up but this is where the problems start guys um, it's too small okay whenever your speed bar is in there it is coming out before you before you leave the ground okay if you want to leave it hanging to it slap in the back of your legs that's up to you um, that's a bit of a nuisance for myself in my opinion um, when I purchased the harness it did say somewhere if I'm brutally honest guys I can't remember where but it said Everest 3 in a sticky label I got the harness out of the packet and within Within 10, maybe 15 minutes of, of just looking at the harness, the stickers fell off. Okay, so they came off straight away. I did contact the company I bought the harness from. They spoke to um, to Supair and they did offer me another one, an updated version with it sewn in. But for the sake of waiting three weeks, I just thought I would stick to this one. Okay, so that's my first gripe straight away. Um, the, the, the name and the branding just fell off. Okay, not a good start for something you're gonna be gonna you're gonna be sitting in and putting your life into this piece of kit. So um next gripe is what I'll do is I'll move closer. My next gripe is these lines, I don't know if you can see them, they are literally starting to fray already. Okay, they're starting to get a little bit wispy okay like there it's starting to um i don't know if you can see that just there it's all starting to peel okay guys i've not had this long enough for it to show wear like this 
okay obviously it's nothing to worry about just yet when um when it gets significant then i will i will retire the harness and i'll get something new uh, maybe back to the own o ozone ozone excuse me um but again it's it's awfully wispy so just look in there there's um it's not really what you'd expect for, for a piece of kit what's what's about 260 quid um, but obviously they've, they've gone light, they've gone very light. I knew that when I purchased it. Um, the next gripe I've got, there's more there, more, um, more wear. Okay, the next gripe I've got, guys, is the padding underneath. So, um, like I said, they are independent legs, which is fantastic for weight shift and whatever else. The, um, you can see already that it's wanting to come through. Can see it at the top there okay basically it's some sort of cardboard some sort of rigid material inside there guys which is supposed to support the the underside of your leg that is wanting to come through the material okay again not had it a great deal of time i've only had the harness for about about four months five months um definitely no more than six months um it isn't used as regular as i'd like to but as you've seen guys as i have explained it, um, it's slowly starting to fall to bits already so I gave this I gave this a go and retired my ozone ozo sold it on as, as people do um, in my opinion when this is done I will not be getting another one okay I know there's other variations but if I had my time again I would not be spending 260 pounds on this okay um, my opinion for somebody who wants lightweight kit reversible harness you can't go wrong get the ozone ozo so pair you need to um you need to work on this in my opinion okay i'm sure you'll um you'll, i'm sure you'll say that it's just wear and tear natural wear and tear but it's it's not great guys is it it's not great at all so um so what i'll do now is i'll just show you how easy and quick it is to pack away you literally stuff it together like that to get their legs aligned some of the leg is just flappy anyway so you can just fold it over guys okay make it a little bit more low profile speed bar put it on the back like that then what i'll do got the bag just feed it into the bag like so i don't need to teach you how to put a an object inside a bag guys the drawstring it's, it's it's pretty straightforward um and that is it that's how quick you pack it away okay like i said 320 grams they focus on the the weight a little bit too much and maybe um got off track a little bit on the actual product itself so that is my review of the everest three ladies and gentlemen um all of these are my opinions um but get get something else get the ozone ozo you can't go wrong um, i'm sure sup air do other decent products uh, well i know they do but um this one in my opinion isn't one of them okay i hope this has helped and take care guys please watch some of the videos give me a thumbs up give me a like give me a subscribe whatever you want to call it and i will be back soon with more reviews let me know in the comments below what you want a review on all right damn signing off